Hello friends, welcome back to CAD CAM station. Today in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you this, how to design an oil can by using SOLIDWORKS 2018. As you can see, there are lots of features on this oil can which you can design by using few commands, which are, first thing is extrude boss base, second one, extrude cut feature, third one creating datum plane or you can say that creating a new reference or plane okay so number four is pattern fill with dome feature and the fifth one is the curve driven pattern so i am considering that you are the beginner and this tutorial is beginners friendly so make sure you watch this video till the end because this video is going to be very informative for you so if you like this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing this video with your friends and also leave your suggestions or comment whatever you want to just leave this below into the comment section it will make me more motivated to create more videos like this so if you uh, uh, at the end, I just wanted to say one more thing that if you want the same tutorial in Annex 12, I will provide you that tutorial as well very soon. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. So, as you can see here, uh, when you're inside the SolidWorks, you just have to create a new part. So, go to here, part, and click OK so now you are inside the work station of solidworks so these are the tabs where you can select the sketch features and these are the features which you can create after creating sketch so the thing first thing is with that you have to start with creating a sketch by selecting the plane so these are the plane you can highlight them from here like the top plane i'm gonna start from the top plane like this now you can see that the options available you can click on here sketch or you can directly click on here so click on it so now you are ready to sketching wedging so select the center rectangle if it is not selected uh, default so you can drop down here and select the center rectangle from here like this start from the origin drag it out and leave this so this is the rectangle and uh, as you can see a little icon smart dimension icon is just below the mouse cursor which i have activated by pressing q on my keyboard and uh, you can also activate this by going on to here smart dimension i have i have assigned these shortcuts few shortcuts i have assigned on my keyboards just to speed up my designing process inside solidworks you can also assign uh, some shortcuts on your keyboard according to your need or your convenience okay so uh, let me show you how it is done you can click on this and then go to customize under customize go to keyboard and you can enter whatever the like smart like smart dimension as you can see here smart dimension or a smart dimension i have placed q and if you want i have one more uh, shortcut to show you that m e a u measure so measure m is for measure like this so there are lots of things i will show you when we are proceeding into this tutorial so after creating this uh, rectangle hit q in my case i have assigned q so you can click on here smart dimension and give it a dimension as you can see it is 150 so enter 150 by 80 like this you can apply sketch fillet so select the two lines and let just as you can see from the top view it is 10 millimeter if it is not 10 millimeter you can enter 10 millimeter over here and select the other two lines like this As you can see now you can click ok so you can see here it is we are done with the sketch the basic sketch you can exit the fillet now go to feature and click on extrude bow space enter the height 180 
and click OK. So this is the basic feature which we have created right now. Now from the bottom you can see uh, from the side view it is uh, 5 millimeter radius on the bottom. So to give the fillet click on the fillet and select the edge and under the fillet parameters enter the value 5 and make sure your fillet type is constant size okay and click okay so now it is done so the next thing is to create the plane okay so in order to create the plane or another datum feature you have to go under feature and select reference geometry under the drop down selection select the plane like this it will activate the plane command so select the top surface now it will ask you to place the plane up to which dimension or up to which distance so enter 46 like this click ok like that now select the plane now as you can see here click on sketch to make it normal I am clicking on plus on my keyboard like this because plus sign is the shortcut key I have assigned on my keyboard to make it normal to my view while under sketching mode so go to circle click over here under the sketch click circle and let's uh, let me just show you that as you can see while I am trying to draw the circle uh, there is no dimension I have to place dimension manually by activating the smart dimension and place it like this this is very time consuming like let me just place it over here 20 sorry it is not 20 it is my mistake it is 50 millimeter of diameter so let me just mm, make it by holding down control key select the two points and make it horizontal like this so let me just show you one more thing if you want to uh, draw the circle or any um, f uh, sketch you want to draw there is one feature that you while you are dragging it out you can enter the dimension and it will uh, give you that dimension locked on that particular point let me just show you what I am trying to say here is in order to activate that feature you just have to drop it down and click on option then uh, there is a uh, under the document section and dimensions uh, let me just uh, there is one sketch under the sketch system option sketch and enable on screen numeric input on entity creation when you activate that create dimension only when value is entered so make sure you activate these two checkbox and click ok now see the difference what will happen here is when you select the circle now as you can see it, the box is available in which you want to enter you have to enter the dimension like whatever the dimension is like 50 now it is fixed now you cannot change the dimension or the diameter of the circle until you double click on it like this it is so easy that you there is no more need to click on smart dimension again and again after creating a sketch so let me just delete this one for now so hit Q on your keyboard to give the dimension from its edge like from here and enter 40 so it is fixed now turn it around a little bit go to feature and click on extrude so here we can see that it is 20 20 millimeter of height of extrusion like this and click ok so now you can hide this sketch like this so we have two different bodies now as you can see on your screen like how you can create the curve feature from which is going to start from here and the curve feature joins from this place uh, there is the uh, one more option or you can say the one more command which comes into play is the lofted boss base so 
I'm really sorry about that. I haven't mentioned this before at the beginning because this is the major command. Lofted boss base is also one of the uh, major command which is going to help us to create the curve feature which is going to join this body part with this one. So in order to do that, you need sketch one on this side and one on this face. So you have to create different sketches one by one. So go to sketch click on sketch select the surface highlight the surface and under the sketch you can select on convert entities now as you can see now we have edge sketch appeared on the object one and exit so we have now to just differentiate with these sketches let me just right click on this and uh, I want to change the color so let me just change the color it to yellow just to make it visible now turn it around a little bit select the bottom face you can select the sketch from here either you can click on over here so as you can see it is already highlighted if it is not you can highlight that surface bottom surface of the circle then convert entities and exit the sketch so what now is again i'm gonna change the color here sketch and let me just change it to something like this which is going to be visible okay now is the time to create a feature loft lofted boss base while you click on it so make sure your uh, profile section is selected select the edge or the sketch if it is not selecting right click on clear selection from here drop down highlight the sketch now you can see sketch is highlighted and this is the end of the sketch now as you can see it is connecting this feature with this one but where is the curve we need as you can see in the sketch we need curve let me just make it normal to your view oh, i'm really sorry about that this is not what I mean to do okay oops oh let me show you one more thing that if your object is out of screen you can hit F sorry on your keyboard to appear it back on your screen so from here just click on over here so from the side view you can see that we need the curvature like this as you can see on the design in order to do that you have to uh, go under the loft command and select the start and constraint drop it down from the start constraint from here you have to select tangent or you can select normal to profile like this under the end constraint you can select normal to profile it looks like something but I think normal to profile is not working in here you can select tangent face okay and then tangent face so it looks better after you are satisfied with your results you can click ok and here is your result as simple as that now we have to create one more sketch on top of it we have to create a circle highlight the edge in order to get to the center so the mm, top circle is 43 millimeter of diameter okay so go to feature and extrude it up to the height of 20 millimeter as well and click ok there you go now we are half done now is the time to create the cut section from here as you can see from the front view so highlight the face select the sketch and make it normal okay so one more uh, there are two ways that you can create create the center line like this and from under the drop down list of a rectangle select corner rectangle like this but before clicking on here and start sketching the rectangle like this as you can see I have to again click on this one and then again draw the sketch of rectangle on the other end and manually apply constraint to make it uh, symmetric on both the sides 
in order to avoid this thing there is one more command i am going to show you here is the under uh, this search command you can activate it by dragging it commands and search commands and there you have to enter dynamic mirror entities here it is okay so dynamic mirror entities you can drag and place it wherever you want it okay so i guess here so now here is the dynamic mirror so select it now you have to select the center line so again start from here and drag it like this it's just the thing happens sometime so enter 100 and enter 5 like this so these are the dimension which you want to enter which you have to enter like this and go to feature and go to extrude cut and right click on your working area and just select until next from the side or you can rotate it you can see that the portion is going to be cut out you can click ok like this so now is the time to uh, create the feature on this surface as you can see like how we're gonna do this in order to do that you have to create the feature first select the surface and click on sketch normal to view now as we know that according to the dimensions or the drawing we need to draw five millimeter diameter of circle and which is going to be seven millimeter from here and seven millimeter from vertical position and from the side view just to make it more easy to visualize what i'm going to do here 0 0.05 millimeter of thickness like this and click ok here you go so this is the feature now we have to create a dome on this uh, surface this surface we need to create a dome in order to do that you can again go to search and hit dome there is the command you no longer need to search it all over the place by going over here you can just simply here click on it and just place it wherever you want it just for the easy access like this click on the dome select the dome make sure your box is selected select the surface as you can see it is bloated we need it 0.5 millimeter 0 0.5 and hit ok so now the dome feature is created as you can see here you can click now okay so now is the time to spread this feature uh, under this constrained body or uh, closed surface body so how we're gonna do this in order to do that you can click on the uh, this drop down list and under this you have as you can see the fill pattern you can click on it so fill the boundary so first point is fill boundary which boundary you want to fill this is the boundary so select the surface it will automatically select the face okay so pattern layout what type of pattern or um, you want to select so you can select the first one here make sure your degree is 60 degrees as you can see on the triangle it says it is 60 degree and uh, we need to select the feature here so make sure your feature is uh, box is selected and from here from the drop down list you need to select the extrude which we have just created and the dome as well because this is actually one part so dome and the extrude box is going to be like this and the rest of the thing is going to be as we know that the 18 you can enter the value over here 18 like this so 18 is uh, already selected but as we can see here so now you can click ok now this is cool right now is the time to mirror this uh, feature on the other side of the surface by clicking the mirror command in order to do that you can first of all find the plane right plane this is the plane about which we're going to mirror this feature so select the mirror 
as you can see we have already highlighted the right plane so it is already selected over here the feature okay so now the feature is the boss dome and the fill pattern as well so make sure you have selected the geometric pattern as well in order to successfully mirror the component on the other side or the feature on the other side and click ok so here you can see the feature is now created so far so good now from the front view from here you can select the face and click on sketch and now what we're gonna do here is start from the center line like this and start the elliptical command because uh, it is shown that we are we have elliptic ellipse sketch over here enter Q now select the dimension and enter 20 millimeter of thickness and the length of this elliptical thing is equals to 34 so now is the time to make it reference line or construction line like this and exit the sketch now you can see here we have to create a circles with the dome feature on it to do that you can select the uh, surface hit the sketch select the circle command and draw six millimeter of diameter seven millimeter of diameter and eight millimeter of diameter and the inter distance between the circle is 10 millimeter like this and I'm gonna hold down the control key select the circle and the ellipse and make it tangent so now go to feature and extrude them extrude it equals to one millimeter and click OK now we have a extrude feature now again select the dome feature select the surface top surface it will take some time I don't know why yeah so select the other surface and the point one I guess point one is good enough or you can change it to one millimeter as well to see the to see the change if it works like this let me just see from the side view okay it looks great I guess so now you can click on OK so we have a doom feature again now is the time to uh, pattern this feature along this elliptical path in order to do that we have as I told you the curve driven pattern under the feature tab you can go to linear pattern and then drop down list curve driven pattern select it so under the direction you have to select the elliptical path from here and under the feature you just have to select the feature mm, let me just let me just select the feature from here select the boss and the doom okay make sure uh, the curve method is offset curve and alignment method is tangent to curve you can also mm, make sure it is like this you can skip instance if you want to but it is not required in this so I'm gonna leave it as it is so uh, enter the number of uh, features you want if you want uh, eight features you can enter the number of features eight it will divide it accordingly but we need six so six is the thing we need you can click OK okay so here is the thing now you can hide the sketch which is now more required so now is the time to uh, mirror this feature on this face to do that we're gonna use the same method uh, first of all select the plane like this and select the mirror okay so under the feature select from here the pause feature doom feature and the parent curve like this and click ok 
so now it is done the last thing is uh, we need to do is to create the hollow bottle a bottle is not a bottle if it is not hollow from inside so in order to do that we should or we have to use the shell command which i are again forgot to mention at the beginning of this video but uh, it is all right because now is the time to show that how to use shell command to make it hollow from inside so just you, you need to select the shell command and uh, select the top surface which you want open okay so if the surface which you want to open from the side you just have to select the face which is going to be open okay so from the top view or side view we can see that it is two millimeter of thickness of wall overall so hit two millimeter and enter or you can see the preview like this so this is how it is going to be shelled out so it is if it is not showing you in your case there must be some error on your design you may be uh, doing so just uh, watch this video again to rectify the error if it is not shedding your bottle like this you can click ok so now the bottle is empty from inside as well uh, in order to show you let me just show you the section view so this is how the bottle looks from inside so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and let me just uh, tell you that i am planning to show you that uh, the same uh, bottle or the same model i'm going to show you how to design this bottle inside nx12 so if you want that tutorial too please leave that uh, comment into the comment section and tell me that you want to see that tutorial because i know that there are uh, lots of different uh, commands uh, used inside nx12 uh, which is uh, completely different from the solid work just tell me what do you think so if you like this tutorial please hit the like button uh, share it with your friend and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon as well because you never want to leave or miss the video from my side okay so you're watching catcam station signing out for now